y'all, hey, it's me, Godiva Empress, back with yet another video just for you. So we already know that Virgo season is approaching. And but for right now, Leo still have the floor. So before Leo season is over, I thought I'd make a video on Virgo and Leo in a friendship. Let's get into it. With the Leo and the Virgo, I feel like in a relationship, I'm not sure about that. I will have that video play after this video. Friendship, relationship, I'm okay with it. And it could be because my Mercury is in Leo. This is the only fire sign that I have on my chart. And it's also my south node. So, I am with Leo's a little bit. It's a part of me. So the Virgo and Leo, this can be a really good friendship as well. I like these two together as friends. One thing that these friends will have in common is that confidence level. The Leo and the Virgo actually have about the same confidence level and the same ego. Surprising, right? It's not. The difference here is the Leo friend is way more outspoken with their confidence. Whereas the Virgo friend, they're not as outspoken with their confidence. Both of these signs possess it. This is actually a similarity that I see between the Virgo friend and the Leo friend. I see they both have confidence. They're very sure in who they are. This friendship is filled with a lot of self-love. When these two go out, the Leo and the Virgo friend, they will always turn heads because their confidence is gonna be on a hundred thousand trillion. They both like to look like money. They're both gonna go out looking very good because the Leo, they do this by default. This is second nature for them. For the Virgo, they can turn it on, turn it off. But if they're with a Leo friend, there's no need to turn it off. They're going out looking like money. You'll see them coming. Another thing about this friendship is they're both okay with tapping into their superficial sides. Again, this is gonna come more natural for the Leo than the Virgo, but when they're together, it's a comfort zone. It's a comfort space. They can do this together and not be judged between each other. It's just a good bougie vibe between these two. They like the finer things in life, so as friends, it just works. They love to travel to different places. They love trying exquisite foods. The Leo friend and the Virgo friend also have high expectations. So the conversation between a Virgo and a Leo is also really good. I feel like both of these signs as friends and a relationship are business oriented. So the business conversations are magnificent between these two. But I feel like for the Leo and the Virgo friendship, a lot of personal talk ends up being business because these are business oriented signs. The good thing about these two, like I stated, they can travel together, they can talk business together, they can be bougie together. These two can also be homebodies and both of them can understand when they're homebodies because usually they need to reset from all the business that they were trying to handle and do. Leos and Virgos as friends, they're innovators. I think they are the most innovative team like duo they can come up with all kind of hustles it's just innovative new ideas creativity i love leo and virgo as friends i wouldn't necessarily recommend it for a relationship because sometimes in a relationship the leo can be too much for the virgo and vice versa and i've talked to different leos i don't know if it's necessarily considered dating I'm cool with a lot of Leos and I, I vibe with Leos. I connect with Leos. I don't know if I can be in a full-fledged relationship with Leos. I'm kind of scared to try because, you know, the, the one thing that you love about a sign or a person could be the same thing that makes you break up with them. It's one of those type of things like, oh, I love your confidence. I love your tenacity. I love your bluntness. To me, Virgos are more harsher with their words than Leos are, but to me in the friendship, both of them could be just as straightforward. This duo can do a whole lot of things together. They can grow together as friends. It's so weird because I feel like they can be the best of the best friends, but in a relationship, I don't know if, if I don't, I don't know if it'll work in a relationship. I don't know if you should chance it. So if you're a Virgo that's friends with a Leo, if you're a Leo that's friends with a Virgo, I don't know if it's worth risking the friendship to take it to another level. I don't know. And it's crazy because I really like them as friends, but I don't really care for them in a relationship at all. And I'm thinking about it and yeah, it's just 
one is coming in so much stronger than the other. And this is why I thought of it. Leos tend to not always tell the truth once they get in relationships. They don't do well with the honesty factor. They'll hide information from their partner. They won't be as transparent. They treat their partner like their partner is sacred from certain information. You get what I'm saying? Whereas in a friendship, they're not like that. They're way more open. They'll tell you anything, everything, very transparent, tell you the black and white, the gray. You get to know everything, all sides of everything in the friendship. But when Leo's in relationships, to me, they don't act the same. That for some reason, they hold their partner to this high standard, so high that they can't even tell the truth. I am team Leo and Virgo friendship, but team Virgo and Leo relationship, I just don't know about that. You won't get my co-sign on that, you won't. And remember what I said, any sign can work if your sign is mature. A normal Leo, I can't see it. I just, I just, the, it's the, the personalities are just too strong. These are two strong personalities who in a relationship I feel like would definitely bump heads. There would be a lot of compromise. So much compromise that you would have to change a lot. One thing about, one thing I don't believe in is having to change who you are for someone else to love you. That's not gonna be okay. You can mature and tweak things that need to be tweaked, but you're not gonna change who I am as a person. That's not love. Y'all know who it is, it's me, Godiva Empress. You guys, I am trying to get to 3,000 subscribers before the month is out. Y'all know I'm a month behind on that. I said this last month. So I need you to tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. It is almost Virgo season. What is it, three days now? What's today's date? We, we three days away. So y'all know I have content coming. Y'all can see I've been on my grind, just putting them back to back, but I have a lot of content for you Virgo specifically because I've been doing like my YouTube journey videos. I've been doing my Virgo view where I give opinions on different things. But now it's time to, I put, I got that out the way. Now it's time to focus on my babies. Hey Virgos, it's our time. Make sure you hit the like button, hit the thumbs up. It's good for my engagement, hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment, all my Virgos, we got next, drop them birthdays. I got y'all. And I thank you guys so much for supporting good old Godiva Empress, AKA Monique. I appreciate y'all. Thank you, thank you. Until next time, bye y'all. Love y'all.